Your Love Story with Dondero's Jewelry in Vineland, New Jersey. Their bridal and engagement jewelry collection is a testament to the enduring power of love. Make your engagement unique with a custom-designed ring to showcase the perfect symbol of your forever. DonderoJewelry.com Hi everybody, happy Tuesday. Today was day two in a three day stretch where we are seeing just beautiful and very comfortable weather. So that means we have one more good day left before we see the humidity return in a uh, impressive kind of outstanding sort of way. We're also gonna kind of settle into a very unsettled pattern for this weekend and possibly into the start of next week. So the, the dry weather and the sunshine will be a thing of the past after we get through tomorrow. We have been seeing very comfortable conditions. That's really the game changer. We're not going to be seeing a huge change in the temperatures between tomorrow and Thursday where you're going to notice the big drastic change is going to be the humidity. The dew points have been in the 50s for the past couple of days. By Thursday we are closing in on 70 and then we are seeing those dew points in the 70s for Friday and Saturday. That's extremely swampy and uncomfortable air to be dealing with and when we see the more moisture laden humid air moving in that all also means there's more opportunity for showers and thunderstorms. Now the 20% chance for Thursday, that's going to be very late into the evening, maybe even the overnight hours. And again, it's only a 20% chance. So pretty much your Thursday does look dry. Where we start to see things change, it's going to be Friday and in particular on Saturday. We're going to be seeing two different fronts move across our area over this weekend. And that's just going to give us multiple chances for some showers, maybe even a couple of thunderstorms. And again, with the moisture, there's just a lot of energy for those systems to tap into. And then even next week, things just say kind of unsettled. There's just not that beautiful cutoff that we saw kind of yesterday and into today and tomorrow. It was a world of difference between Sunday and Monday, and that's just not what we're gonna see for next week. Tomorrow's still beautiful though, lots of sunshine, temperatures back up mid to upper 80s. Again, beautiful, 0% chance for rain and those dew points still down into the 50s. That high pressure is our best friend. It is what helped to usher in the nice cooler air that we've been dealing with for the past couple of days. But unfortunately, he can't hang out forever. We're gonna see it kind of slowly drift further off to the east and then quickly get replaced by a much more hot and humid air mass. So Thursday afternoon is where you start to see the humidity and the heat start to build in. And then late Thursday night is when you see that chance for some showers and maybe even some thunderstorm activity and then a second front will be rolling in for Friday and Saturday. So as far as your holiday weekend is concerned, it's not a total washout. You don't have to go canceling all your plans. I know a lot of people for 4th of July, there's parades, fireworks, you want to go down the shore, you want to get on the boat, you want to go to the lake, all of these beautiful outdoor activities, barbecues, pool parties you're still good to go. You will be seeing some really stunning, hot and humid, but stunning afternoons on the way. There's just gonna be a couple of quick showers and thunderstorms on the way. I would say Friday, it's that sort of popcorn activity that pops up in the afternoon very randomly. Most spots stay dry. Saturday, it'll be kind of later in the evening as we see that front clear our area. Sunday looks very dry and very nice overall. And even Thursday, all day, looks very good. It's not until again, late in the evening that we see that chance for a couple of stray showers and maybe a little bit of some storms. But only 20% chance, no reason to cancel your plans. Looking at that seven day forecast, we start to see the heat and humidity Thursday and Friday. We stay kind of muggy all the way through at least the first half of the weekend. I'd be saying Sunday is also still gonna feel pretty hot and humid. Uh, again, the humidity starts to kind of fall, but it still won't be feeling comfortable. And then even next week, we don't see that big switch or that flip of the switch that allows uh, for things to kind of clear out very quickly. More chances for some storms possibly next week as well. Okay, I hope you enjoy the rest of your night. Stay safe, sleep tight, and I will check in with you tomorrow.